if the war with the Romans wasn't hard enough, <laughs> just got attacked by Egypt. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Sparta Imperator on campaign. So, as you remember, in the last episode, we actually managed to defeat the Roman Kingdom. Roman Kingdom that is having 8,000 pops, why have 1.6 thousand? So, until the last episode, I again received millions of great tips from you guys that I'll be trying to implement into my gameplay. By the way, look that boy migrated to Hungary and we have huge boss for Young Kingdom over here. First thing that I actually did, I changed my flanks and you can see the flank size is 5, so I should have, be having two more regiments of heavy cavalry to full the flanks. And here, as I only have the heavy infantry, I made this both heavy infantry. Let me know if it's the right thing to do here. Second tip that I received is to decrease my commerce which, according to you guys, will increase my income significantly. So it's 44 right now. I'm going to click this. It's 49. Let's give it a month. Civil War in Maria ended. Oh, this is so freaking big. Let's see. 50? Yeah, it's like six more income, so that's very good. I'm going to turn off my army maintenance. And... Uh, Fort maintenance. Right now we'll be making 13 ducats monthly. Another tip that I received is to get an engineer into your, my army. Yes, this is an engineer. I hope one will be enough. And with the engineer, building the roads should be cheaper. So I'm going to get here. I'm going to click build. Yes, 10 per road. And I was paying 50, remember? Let's so click this. That we surely need a road to this for. So let's go and let me see. Yes. Ah, I see. Legion maintenance cost plus 120%. Okay, that explains a lot. So I need to save more money and then continue building my roads. So in case of the next war of the Roman Empire, I'll be ready for that. What I also need to do is to decrease my gross expansion. And another tip that I received is to play around with the decisions for each of the cultures. So for example here, for my main culture I can increase the happiness of the citizens, which is 22% uh, of them, by decreasing the happiness of the nobles, which is 11%. So that should be worth it. Or I just fuck this up? Because this was 46. Uh-uh, I think I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because... Okay, mistakes happen, guys. I think it works a little bit different. It was, I think it was based on this, but it looks like it's based on this. So I just fucked up their happiness right now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, to play with it. It looks or good. But for example, integration culture happiness minus 3% if I click it, the output would decrease. Ah, uh, okay, I'll try this. <laughs> I'll probably, again, yeah, this will decrease for 60 months, but in long term, these guys will be more happy on the cost of lower income, but my income should be okay. If you truly enjoy and respect my content, remember to leave the subscription and turn on the notifications to get notified about all of the upcoming videos. Another thing that you guys uh, advise me to do is to get the great temples in big metropolis like here, for example, it's the biggest city that I conquered here in the north. It's, yeah, it's 59 pops. And we'll see how it will work. I'm trying to, you know, organize these cultures so both our income and most importantly, army will be bigger and better through the time. Right here, as I'm not fighting anymore for some time, I'm going to take the great culture happiness or the commerce. I'll go for the happiness. It's, I really like religions, how they've done it. It's like a lot of choice. I think I'll anyway stay with this. So integrated culture happiness and oratory tech investment. He also told me that if I go to my research technologies and I search for someone 
that is having not obsessive a trade. But none of these guys have a trade. So it's easier said than done from I see. See, yeah. He said that there is a trade that will be giving me free innovations. I will be looking for such guys in the future. Tip after tip. So I was um, saying that I don't have any good commanders. So you told me that I should go to the characters, like here, sort by the marshal. And for example, I could give this guy a citizen status. So if I go back to my government. I could take him, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it this guy, this god tier boy that I just got, I'll add him as my general, because he'll be more important as the general, and as of course the main one in my army. And in the meantime, you see that uh, we're building the roads, we have a route from the north to the south to this fort, and right now I'm building it from Sparta to Athen Athens, and to just connect everything over here. Okay, I see my mistake now. I was building great temples, which is for conversion of the religion, and I have no religions to convert here, so I should be building grand theaters for assimilation. But the thing is, okay, I will get rid of this temple, and I cannot get the theater. Has the invasion gradual economic integration? Okay, I'm going to look for that. Find it? Okay, I just need to one technology to get it on here, right? <laughs> You know, I'm still running. Don't be too harsh on me. I'm getting another trade route in my capital. It's 14 already. So let me just get uh, this. This cost me only 160, but we have money. And right now I'm saving for these buildings for the culture conversion. There we go. I'm going to click this and start building the great theaters. So in the main metropolis here for sure. I think in Athens, this is Athens, or no, this is Athens, right? Here I'm just going the same. I don't need a temple, I need a theater. Yeah, this is mainly Alitolian culture here, so I'm going to build a grand, uh, grand theater here. And that's it, we spent all of the money. Hopefully this will help. I started today's session with 500 of my Lacamedonian culture, right now it's almost 600. And once those two will become less relevant, with less amount of the pops, I will stop accepting them? Is it even possible? I'll probably have to change them to the Freeman, right? From the city then. Okay guys, I have some money saved. It's time to attack the Roman Empire again. So I'm going to take the discipline here. Over here I will make sure that I will go for the shock action and it's time to build up the bigger army. So first of all I will need two more of those guys, one more engineer to have the bonus on the sieges and up to the force limit of these guys. Yes, that is going to agree with our force limit. Yes, 33,000 of army, okay. On top of that, I'll be also able to get some of the levies, so it will be another 20,000 from Macedonia. So I'll use these guys to go and keep uh, deleting them, or no, I'll use these guys to go for this, while the Macedonian guys will be defending the northern lands. Actually, you'll see that they have attrition, so I'm going to just split this army in a half. Look, this guy is disloyal, is he? Hegemachos Dionid. Yeah, that's my army started. Look, I want to go. It's funny in this game. I want to go there. No, you can't. This guy is the slayer. So I'm just going here. I'm just going to. I don't know. I can just bribe him. <laughs> Let's just bribe him. Happy now? Yes, you can come. Or you can't. <sighs> Still not? So, okay. I'll make friends with you then. This is. Annoying and with those three big armies, I'm going to deal with the Romans. I'm still earning money <laughs> Barely, but I'm earning money. Anyway, I'm going to declare the war and I can call Fras. Oh, yes, you guys are telling me in every episode? Phrase? But no, I'm going to call it Fras because it's closer to my Polish pronunciation and I don't care if you guys don't like it. I like it. That's what is important. So declare the war blah 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 and uh, we are going straight for a little bit uh, there, you're going there to get this province to occupy everything here. 
and to go for this province. Then let's go. Now I started losing the money, but you can see we are pushing the Romans before they even think about coming here. It is tip that the provinces of the columns are occupying like all of the regions, so I don't have to carpet which was great. I was always thinking that forts work like that, not these provinces. So right now. You see that my war with the uh, Roman Empire is so far as a bleak streak. There we go, I see first army, so I'm going to take my best general to take care of them, while this army will just going and occupying everything in the meantime. So let's see what will be the army quality difference. Hey guys, they are coming, they are starting finally coming, but I received 22% of the war score before they even start doing so. Yeah, they're doing the same thing that I will be doing to them. Let's see, my first battle. Let's see. Yes, 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 that's how I like to fight, and uh, come Bester. yes, okay, let's go and recuperate this princess now, all these guys of course dying, and just run away to the second stack, here I have another battle to take, let's try them, 16,000 against 10,000, yes, Yes, they they don't know what's happening to them, basically. 27% of the war score, and we didn't even almost have to fight. And actually, they could be accepting my peace deal for these provinces already. But of course we want more. I'm not sure if it's a good idea that I'm attacking here. I'll be outnumbered. <laughs> what's the attack? Uh... uh what am I doing? Did I run away by an accident? What? Am I running away? Yeah, I misclicked. I wanted to check the attack. 11 versus 15th and 10th. Okay. Okay, so we would be able to take all of this in one war. That would be 36 aggressive expansion. Okay, I will go for this. Could I maybe release something inside them with additional war score? We could do that. What about Sardinia? Uh, that's too much. Yeah, let's sort it by the war score cost and something for a few. Okay, let's let's just go for what we have. Send the peace deal and look. This is beautiful. What amount of the pops we have right now? 2.3 thousand and they are still left with 7.8. And uh, you can see that it's still increasing. 660 of like Macedonian and I'll be still working on that. And now I need to set up all of these provinces for the cultural assimilation. Let's go for that. Cultural assimilation. Cultural assimilation. We need to convert everything to our beautiful culture, not religious, but cultural. <laughs> we destroyed it. It was easy, guys. It was super easy. And I feel like we'll need a couple of forts on there because all of these princes that we just conquered from the Roman Empire they didn't have a single fort. So I'm going to go to the buildings. I'm going to go to the fortresses and see. Oh, the big of a choice here, to be honest. Let's get one on the north. One on the north. And one here in the between. And now I have more of the Roman Empire than Boetian and Anatolian. Anatolian are basically degraded to free men, so they are no longer accepted. And I think I will do the same with Boetian. Of course, this will in the short term, yeah, they decrease that. But if we take care of the Romans and give them the citizen status, that should be very helpful in the long term. So we have just Lacedonian, Macedonian, Roman, three biggest cultures will be accepted. Yes, and the rest will be just solely converted to my main culture. Look, I'm earning 29 ducats right a monthly. So as soon as I save a little bit more the money, I'll build more roads because I definitely need a road from here throughout the north and probably something going around here as well. Let's see, Roman culture is being finished. Remember that we had uh, for some of this like 73? Now, right now it's 50, it dropped because I cancelled the two cultures, the smaller cultures from here. And let's see, with the Romans, they are now pretty happy. And this is 61, so it's actually lower. But remember, we are thinking here long term. First of all, all of this will be conquered Roman culture. 
And second of all, this Bell Tolian and uh, Tolian, these two characters, I'll be converting them, you know? Anyway, right now, I'm going to build the roads. I already got the theaters in all of the main cities conquered now, so it's good. There we go, Roman Empire declared the war by themselves. Let's see the diplomatic map moves. Well, should be easy. Let me just turn all my armies, I have tons of the money and I'll recruit also the army from Macedonia. And with this free stacks, we can do whatever we want. Anyway, we should start defending from- oh my god, they're coming from all of the sides. Good that they've built the forts all around. This is a lot of happening. Fighting here, I'm fighting here, fighting here. I need to defend these forts. <laughs> And they just wiped six and a half thousand troops. Uh, the attacking move uh, probably way better. No, why did it say that I'm going to lose? I'll just use these guys as the reinforcements. Come on, just win. Okay. Let's see, do I use the right strategy here? It's okay. Uh, this is the best strategy for bonuses to my army. And at the same time, it's not giving me minuses in the fight with the Romans. Yeah, I thought it would be problematic, but I'm crushing them here. The problem is they're reinforcing it with more troops, so it won't be as easy. And here I'm going to be... How is the train under benefit when I'm defending on my fort? Yeah, they have... Ugh. It's just lying. Yeah, just win. Oh no. <laughs> I think they are taking this more serious this time. <gasps> oh my god. So let's try reinforcing it with these guys. I'm outnumbered so much. And they changed this strategy in the middle of the battle because reinforce, they reinforce with the new troops. Uh, now we will lose here. We'll lose here. Okay, we have money. Let's just pay more for our armies and the forts. Just also defend this faster. Now, you guys uh, just end here. Let's go uh, to Kupi. You run away here. The losers, they still lost more, but so what? Constant battles, that's what's exactly happening here. Even though we have three stacks. It's still not enough to control everything that is happening around here. And because they are sitting me down from all of the sides. At least Frass finally came here. But yeah, I'm going around and just killing the troops. How many died already? 52,000. That I thought this would be more. Roads are very useful. I've built them everywhere. And thanks to that, we have a way bigger chance of going around and killing them. You see, we have 28% of the wars already. And I'll be taking a lot from you this time. I'm not going to show you any mercy. If the war with the Romans wasn't hard enough... <laughs> just got attacked by Egypt. What the hell? Look on that. What the hell? Also, look on this... Uh, Name placement. Egypt. <laughs> so we need to ASAP piece out the Romans. So we'll be able to go take care of the Egypt. So you see, I already have 40% of the war score. I just need to occupy more provinces. And that's what we are achieving here. We'll go there. We'll go there. Uh, maybe first kill them and go there later. <laughs> How many troops they lost? 60,000. So it's unstoppable. Okay, more discipline will be definitely useful. Here I'm getting more troops. Yeah, I'm sitting this down already. Okay. We could take. Oh, I reset. This and this. And. Not maybe everything, but I want this the most important province here to be taken. Yes. Yes, we need to go and deal with Egypt now. So send the peace deal. I love it. Now we have 
2.6 thousand pops and out of which already 800 are La Camedonian. So, time for Egypt to die. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, keep these small stacks here with uh, also these guys that just lost the battle to defend my Sofranas because they'll be probably trying to land. While the rest of the guys are going to Frass. Uh, you can't go yet. And the... Come on. I cannot go for the Roman Empire. I'll get my ships. You know what I could have done? I could first go for Roman Kingdom to Frass and then peace out Roman Kingdom. Uh, you saw what was the state of the war. I needed to get rid of this ASAP. And I can finish my mission tree right now, which is going to give me manpower recovery speed, rule of popularity gain, and monthly military experience. Very nice. Spartan restoration. Nope. And we have three more missions here? Matter of Moesia. This mission will be considered complete when the entire region of Moesia is under Spartan influence. Okay. Considered complete when you have taken control of the Peloponnesus. Okay, so here. Yeah, I'll try with the Peloponnesus. Oh, nice! So it's like an additional mission tree to the mission tree. Nice! Okay, I have one army ready here, transported. And wait, ah, we need to go for one more country to get there. Uh, what if you give me our access? Wait a second. Yes. Yes. What's the technology of Egypt? Twelve. We have sixteen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Go. <gasps> no, they attacked me. See. I managed to get eight more thousand transported. Ooh. I hope they won't fight my army here. Oh. No. I still alive. I still alive. Quickly, before they come here. Come on. <laughs> Why can I run? They immediately started attacking me. Yeah, from the North Sea. This stack was ready. I will get there sooner or later. Just uh, quickly. Go, 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 go. Yes, okay. And you just bore sight. No, they started seizing me from the north. I didn't get any uh, pop up about this. No! I, I'm doing the same on the homeland, see? But they started. I, I just noticed because my wars constantly went negative. But they are definitely getting crazy to attack me there. The fort, yes, with the fort down, it's easier. So please go down all of these provinces. Nice. Oh my god. Board the mission. I have to run away from this battle. There's no way I can win here. I mean... <laughs> yeah, there's still no way they're reinforcing with too many troops. Run away to the... I need to unite. I don't want to fight here anymore. This is like all, all, this is my whole legion here, in this army. I'm actually going to recruit some mercs. We have both money and uh, positive balance to recruit them. Let's get these guys here. It's 13,000. And let's go on the front line. But also, I could buy one more merc stack. I, this war is becoming important to me because they are freaking annoying. And these guys as well. Let's recruit them. Now with this, all of the stacks, we should be able. Oh my God! Do you see that? We should be able to push them back. I think they've got forced white piece out of the wars. I wasted this money on the mercs. I'm. <gasps> no, they got forced piece. You see, I got this province here or this one, and I've got this. Yes, 
Okay, got forced and I got my demands even. I didn't even have to send a peace deal. So thanks to that, I have my mission tree here opened. Take it. Take it. Not take it yet. So what I need to do is to get rid of the levies. Oh, we have definitely too many forts now. I think, yeah, this was the fort that I don't need that we just took over. I don't need a fort here. So we have a fort this province. And I need a fort here actually, but I don't need it here. Yeah, we need to clear the forts a little bit. We don't need this one as well. But I have to keep it, I guess. That's weird. I need this one. Yeah, and these forts are pretty important. Oh, I got this as well. Okay, just get rid of this fort. Yes, okay. Now we are spinning on the forts. Yeah, 7.7 is good. So, within a month, Dick, you see that we are earning 30 ducats. 43 monthly. We are freaking having a lot of money to do whatever you want, but I'll do whatever you want in the next episode. If you guys want the next episode, because I see that the popularity of the series, of course, are dropping us. It's not the U4 game, and we have already three episodes, this is the fourth one. But if you want me to continue this campaign, it looks like we are finally blobbing and building up a stable, nice country. Look on this amount of the culture of Lacomedonian. Then please leave a like and comment uh, of this video, and of course you can start giving me some uh, ideas for the next campaigns. Maybe not necessarily Imperator, but also maybe other games that you would like to see. So for today, thank you so much for watching, please also remember to leave a subscription if you enjoyed this series, and I'll see you soon.